Finally got all the cars back together now. The IS is finally back. I kind of want to put the wheels back on, but also kind of don't want to because I'm tired. But who knows, the sun's going down, maybe I'll throw them back on. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Some clean up here and there, you know how most cars are after you get them back from the body shop, there's all kinds of compound on it and stuff. So just some detail touches here and there. But yeah, haven't had these two cars together in a very long time so pretty happy with it pretty stoked got all kinds of stuff to put on here it's just a matter of finding the time and the energy to do it but other than that we're set Gur's working on his car there's many many clusters I have my craft squares here that I need to throw in the car. Had these re-cleared till they came out pretty sick. Should make the whole car look different. The beefy mirrors are cool, but they're just they're not as good as craft squares, you know. Got my visors here too, I gotta throw on. They actually went and re-cleared the visors, so those look brand new. So everything will just be really shiny once the car's all back together and hopefully I can keep it that way. So now that we have the IS back at the shop now, we can finally get to work on it and I'm sitting in my office, but Utah's in the back overhauling the suspension since I got um, new bushings and we're just completely redoing everything underneath the car since it's uh, the car is kind of old now and stuff's never been changed so having new bushings and stuff will help the car ride a lot better especially since we have the car set at such a low ride height because just how I prefer my cars and and of course Utah prefers this car's extra low too so He's the one that set the height. He's the one that dialed into the, sus the suspension before we even took the car to paint. So I liked how it was sitting. It was just, there's some minor adjustments that need to be done with the fender liner and stuff. But one of the main things is we got these uh, Serial 9 upper control arms. And uh, you know, they come with the ball joint and everything in place. But we got new bushings. So we have Super Pro bushings that actually fit right into these, uh, right into this like Utah said it fits perfectly, so it looks great. Hopefully it rides good. And uh, these are actually for JZX applications, so they're slightly shorter than factory IS300. So that'll give us a little bit more uh, camber. And that will help in the long run because then we can turn the wheel and it'll tuck a little bit more inwards towards the fender so we won't have to run into any issues of buckling the fenders like I kind of did already when I got the car back <laughs> and I was driving it around the shop after I put the wheels back on I, I think I tapped the fender a little bit but uh, you won't notice it but hopefully with the new suspension stuff and the new bushings the car will ride a lot better will be a little bit more everything will feel a little bit more tight I guess since it's like newer but yeah these uh, Serial 9 stuff and the Super Pro, Super Pro bushings together looks pretty good. I'm kind of excited to get all the suspension together and then we also, um, Utah, we kind of mocked up the Dixie brakes and thankfully like, we have plenty of wheel clearance up front so I'm kind of stuck about that because that was one of the main worries was that we're, I was concerned that the caliper was going to hit the wheel but Thankfully the TC4 has such a curved spoke that it allows us to have plenty of space. So we haven't done the back yet, but I think tomorrow he's going to throw all the brakes on and, and mock everything up before like finalizing everything. So excited.
but the main thing that I wanted to do first was get all the suspension stuff knocked out so that I can actually drive the car around and then get the ceramic pro stuff done and then throw on the rest of the parts but yeah step one was the suspension overhaul and that's where we're at right now so you to put these rings in the freezer section of our fridge here at the shop because he wanted them to be nice and cold so that they don't scratch my wheels when we put them on because uh we're going to use them as hub centric rings since I'll be running spacers over my big brake kit. So yeah, those things are in the freezer. So I've been really wanting to run one of these billion intake ducts in my bumper because I've always loved these things. I think they're cool little knickknacks. I like the blue color and everything. Dur had one on his EK back in the day and I think he's going to be running another one in his car because we just ordered a bunch of these lately. And uh, I've been trying to replace my fog lights in my Modelista Qualitat bumper on my IS with one of these. I was gonna do both, but I figured it might be a little too much since it's, it's blue and it kind of pops too much on the car since I don't have anything else blue in the car. So, um, we're just gonna do one for now on the passenger side since the intake side is on that side. So I'll probably run a duct to it and then run it up to the airbox or wherever, I don't know. The engine's completely stock, but I just, I think it looks cool. And the whole point of this car is, is just to make it look cool and to clean it up. So I've been trying to run one of these. Juran makes a one too, if you want a red one. And then Billion also makes carbon ones, but Billion is signature blue. So I really wanted to run a blue one. So when I got the car back from paint, I specifically told them not to put the fog lights back on on my Model Lisa bumper. And uh, these are OEM, I mean, not OEM, these are CB fogs, but they're specifically for the Qualitop bumper. And uh, when I was doing some research on it and like the, the pigtail plug and everything for the H1 bulb, I found out that this fog light is actually uh, used often in like a 05 Jaguar X-Type. So that's where they use those fogs and that's where they adapted them from. But they come with the bumpers. I told them I didn't want it back on because I figured the the diameter of it would be very close to the model East, I mean, to the billion duct. So I got the fogs back off the car and then I noticed that the bracket would work out perfectly to use for to mount the duct because the fog light itself comes off the bracket. And I had no idea because I had never taken the fog light off since we put the since we put the bumper on the car originally. So I thought it'd be cool to use a bracket. And so I was messing around earlier today. That's the driver's side duct fit. Here is the, the bracket itself from the passenger side. And so I use like, you know, Amazon box, cut out a template of the diameter uh, that fits the OD of the duct. Amazon box shaped it shaped it to the back of the the bracket mounted it because there's there's holes I mean I made holes and then the, the six I mean this I think they're, I don't know what size bolts here but they mount up and then so I mocked it up it goes into the car like this so originally I cut the hole perfectly in the center but then I realized that uh, the way this duct is going to sit and how it mounts to the bumper the edge might end up scratching the inside of my bumper on the top. So I cut the hole a little bit wider on the bottom. So it'll go like this onto the car. And then it's gonna be lower like this. I need, I need it at an angle too, but whoops, there goes that. Luckily that's Dur's old one. Anyways, but yeah, we cut it, I cut it bigger here and then I'll probably end up using a carbon sheet. I thought about using aluminum but Utah has a bunch of carbon sheet laying around so he can actually cut the shape out since I already have the template for it and everything. Pretty easy job, but like a cool nifty little touch, you know? And then it'll be tucked inside the fog light area, the bumper, and you'll be kind of be able to see it from the side, but mainly up front. I think it'll be kind of cool just to have like a, a billion duct just lurking in the bumper. I don't know. I just like cool little knickknacks like this and cool detail touches. I was gonna get a red one, but then, I don't know, I really like the billion stuff. And then it comes with the, like, the decals and stuff that you have to put on there. So really cool nifty piece. Just gonna mount it with clamps on the back onto the carbon sheet. 
So from the side, it'll we line up. Gotta line up the letters, and then so it'll be like this kind of. It'll be cool. I don't know. Pretty stoked about this. The car's coming together now. Suspension is all in. All the bushings are in, and then it's just a matter of dialing in the ride height and getting the alignment correct. Big brakes are on too, front and back, so the car looks pretty cool. Gonna have a meet next weekend, and then probably debut the car there for people to see if they want to see it for the first time. But yeah, I'm, so, I'm like pretty happy with the progress of the car. And as the car sits right now, it looks pretty crazy. Like I, I would show you, but we're gonna adjust the height some more. And the toe in the rear is kind of, kind of all over the place since the bushings on my car were so old. Now that we put new bushings, and you can kind of see where everything is like, you know. But yeah, it's good. Kind of stoked that billion duck thing worked out because I thought I would have wasted two ducks, but I'm not on there yet. <laughs> I mucked up today and I had a car. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's very interesting that it's blue. Yeah. With your red wheels. Yeah. The contrasty. But it's not like it, it's more like a teal blue than like a regular. That's irrelevant. Yeah, it's like an anodized, like light blue. I know this is irrelevant also because <coughs> this is Joey's car, but. I always pick three colors, and then like like uh, um, what is it called? Like aluminum or whatever can be is would be one of the one of the colors. Right. Or yeah, every car is just so I always just three colors, and then it I I I personally don't incorporate any more than that, but that's just me. Yeah, my limit is three colors. Q forty five is green, silver, bronze, bronze. Yeah. yeah, and that worked out great. So. This one is black, red, silver, yeah. and then just random blue. Yeah. Blue's, blue's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it wasn't a billion duck, that'd probably be fucking weird, but it's just the fact that it's a billion. Like, the Joran one is red, but it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's, at that point, it's like, see, that's the thing, it's like, it's too much. Yeah. That's why I was so hesitant about the, the Seraph coat, is because unless it's the exact match, it's like worse when it's close but not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember when I wanted to paint those beef mirrors red? And I was like, well, what if we paint it? This is a different red, and it's going to be stupid. That would be stupid, yeah. yeah. I'm really glad that you, you got these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, next up on the list is swapping over door panels to these Modelista door panels that I got a while back. They actually came from Russia. But taking the door panels off on ISs are actually very simple, almost like a Honda, but probably even a little bit more simple. But there's some things I have to switch over because. <laughs> This is a driver's side, and I mean the driver's side's cool because it has this suede material, but that one has that cool red meshy stuff on it, which will match the seats that I have coming in. The window switch panel is kind of dinged up just from the previous owners and stuff, and just from wear and tear. And I actually got new switches for it, or a new frame for it, that I have to swap over. But the main thing is, I had to get new panels anyways because... The window switches are different, obviously, because the driver's side over there is the passenger side and vice versa. So just minor switching and trying to figure out where everything goes. But I think the car will look a lot better with these door panels in it. Just because they're cleaner overall, too, they're not all scratched up like this one is. This one has a lot of scuffs on it and stuff. Because the previous owners weren't really, you know, trying to take care of the car that well. Here's a better look at the window switch panels that I had on my car and you can see all the damage and the nicks and stuff, just wear and tear. Especially, you know, from people digging their fingers and stuff in there. But yeah, luckily uh, Lexus still has these available so you can actually switch these panels over and, and make everything look new. Probably clean it up, take apart the trim and then clean the actual switches too just because there's so much grime and stuff in there. Just make it look nice. Here's the new trim panel on the switches. Looks like new now. Looks great. Pretty happy about this. I do a step by step, like, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing really difficult about getting this piece and, and mounting the switches over to it. And honestly, I don't think people that own ISs watch my channel, anyways. And the guys that I do know that have an IS or that have a Sport Cross, they know how to wrench on cars probably better, way more than I do. So. Yeah, here it is. It's straightforward. It'll look good in the door panels. I just want everything to look new, so this is like just one of the small details for the interior. That'll kind of switch everything up, you know? So I hope people will notice that the interior is super clean, and it's because I actually took the time to find the right pieces for it.
Okay, so I got the bracket apart as I showed you guys. Here's what a factory Modelista Qualitat fog light looks. See the bracket. So to get this billion duct to work, I simply just used the bracket and then I had that carbon sheet shaped thanks to Christian. He went and milled it down and, and cut everything to shape to fit onto my template which i had made out of cardboard right here so you can see it kind of lines up great and then now that fits onto the bracket so it has like a cool little carbon nifty looking thing here and then this is just the old billion duck that i had from dur this is just a mock-up one i have a new one that i'm going to put on there once i do fit everything so yeah you can see how the duct fits into here pretty snugly now it's like so tight because I had to like sand down the hole to just to get it to all fit in there so see that's in there now it'll go in this way since it's on the passenger side so it'll have a little bit of depth to it and then I've got this hose clamp from Utah we're gonna slide that over. You actually have to loosen this a little bit more. And then it'll be held in with this with this clamp and then we'll be able to run ducting straight to the intake box, to my completely stock intake box. So, I mean, it's just a nifty little thing. Got some fiberglass and carbon fiber in my skin probably now, but it's all good. It looks cool. And then, yeah. Gonna mount it up tomorrow and see how it looks, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it has the ideal look that I'm, I'm going for. So it'll be nice and subtle, but if you look at it from the front of the car, you'll definitely notice that there's a fog light missing in my bumper and it's been replaced with a blue duct. Well, it's been hot as hell today, but I finally found some time to install the billion duct onto the car. Had to pull the fender liner aside instead of having to take off the bumper because I really don't want to touch the bumper right now with the new paint and everything. And I don't want to scratch anything, so I ended up mounting the duct that way, just pulling the liner back and then the housing and then the duct fits right through the little gap in the fender liner, so that's how it looks. It's a little sharp contrast with the blue, but I liked it because it's like a you know like a billion product and it's not something you see all the time. So yeah, here's how it looks. I kinda dig it. Kinda cool, nifty fog light replacement. I don't really see people do this on a Qualtop bumper because it's kind of supposed to be like the classier bumper of the of the bunch. So I think it's kind of cool. Thought about running it on the other side and having two ducks, but I think it might be a little much. So I'm going to try to rock that one for now and then put the Qualtop fog light back on the side just to see how it looks. And eventually if I dig this look enough, I'll just do the other side too. So we'll have two ducks, but this one makes the most sense right now for an intake duct. I just have to get the ducting for it too and just route it to the air box, but I have to find the right size because it's kind of an odd size. So it's either three inches or two and a half inches for the ducting and the billion duct itself is a 2.75 inch or 70 mil. So we'll see. The interior is all put in. These are the Modelista Qualitat door panels. Kind of makes the whole car look different inside. And then these are the new window switch panels that I was showing you guys. I even found the time to put on the, uh, my personal steering wheel. This is like a perforated leather one, which you don't see that often. And then I got the red stitching and the red horn to match the interior. So I also have seats coming in, but no idea when those are coming in. Hopefully it'll come in soon so we can kind of get seats that match the rest of the car and get rid of these weird stains that came from the previous owner. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna have the rear seats reupholstered as well. I'm just waiting for the material to come in. So everything will tie together and then the car will have a uniform look and with the black and red theme. Pretty happy with it so far. Just sitting inside the car makes everything feel kind of new with the new door panels and everything. Steering wheel is super tight, like it's smaller. So it has more of a, I mean, I like personal wheels because they're a little beefy, so. Got a nice grip to it and stuff, but 
Yeah, interior's coming along. Exterior is done, and then gonna go get the car ceramic coated in a few days. I know some of you guys are probably wondering, like, how the car feels now with the with the bigger brakes, the big brake front and rear. And honestly, like, it doesn't feel too different for me. It's just, uh, like, in terms of feel, because I'm still trying to drive it very normally, I guess you can say. But uh, the only main difference is that I'm stopping way before I need to. So, like, I'll stop, like, half a block before <laughs> before the car needs to stop. So, like, I've been driving it, uh, like, home late at night anyway, so there's not much traffic on the road, just so I can get a feel for the car again with the brakes. And, yeah, I, I'll definitely just, like, kind of, like, find myself stopping, like, way sooner than I have to so now I'm just kind of casually just coasting to the light now I mean it's a minor adjustment it's not too big of a deal are the brakes touchy they can be like if you need to make a sudden stop or a sudden tap on it the car is going to stop and uh you definitely feel the rear brakes working now which is interesting and uh I don't want to change driving too much just driving around normally on the street and braking much later to compensate for the bigger brakes because I drive my other car also, like my Pilot, which has absolutely no brakes. The car just stops on its own weight. It's kind of a, not a great braking system on that thing. So it would be the complete opposite where this car would stop way sooner and then that car just doesn't stop. And then my Q45 has pretty good brakes on it, but yeah, I don't, I just don't wanna drive, like adjust to one specific like style of driving where I brake later because when I hop in another car, I'm not paying attention or something, then I'm gonna brake way too late and it's gonna cause an accident, so. Just taking it easy on this car so far and then once the ceramic coating is done i think i'll be a little bit more comfortable with it but it already rained a little bit and the car got really dirty so they're gonna have to detail and clean it before they do all the ceramic stuff again other than that i think we're in a good place i just getting used to having the car back and adding all these nice things to it so now there's more things to be concerned about i'm really happy with the interior i can't wait to get my seats in I can't wait to get the materials to rewrap my rear seats to match everything. And then, uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Just enjoy the car for a little bit, I guess. You know, it's been fun so far. It's nice to start tinkering with cars again and stuff after just doing photography so often. <laughs> but yeah, we're in a good spot.